Stay right here with me. Am I right over right here on my shoulder? Right here, Jags. Right here. You yeah, should drop right in the hole right here on the right hand side. See this bit? Wind down. Get your hand up in front of the reel. There you go. A little higher. The fish is digging really deep. Gotten a look at them here. Big giant bit. Wind down. Might be a king. Can't tell for sure. Cannot tell for sure. Big, big, powerful fish. Maybe a big king or an Atlantic here. We're going to take a look. Wind down again. This is a superior fish. Wind down to him. Second. Okay, wind down to him. Be ready, Mark, when I tell you on that neutral. Wind down again. Good steel will try to get his head coming right here. What he's doing is he's not putting a lot of pressure. You can see the tiny little six bead chain. Then what we're doing is we're running a fluorocarbon tippet about six or seven feet from there down to the fish. Wind down to him again, Dag. If he comes up under here, we want to just keep it off the cable so that our line doesn't touch it. Wind down one more time. Big fish. Might be a big brown. I can't believe it, but it might be a big brown. You know what, folks? It could be anything. Who the hell knows? <laughs> Wind down on him. Come right here to me. Go right to him. Right over my shoulder. Looks like it is a real big brown. Maybe the biggest one of the season. Wind down again. Okay, get close to that. Be careful. Don't eat it. We're going we're gonna to bring him up here. Wind down. Good. This is a big, big fish right here. He's dogging. He's right straight down in the corner. What we're trying to do is position ourselves so that we can net across this fish. Hold on a second. Okay. Wind down. You want to run neutral, Bill, or? Not yet. Just a second. We're going to wind down again. Close that bead chain. Easy. Raise his head. Raise his head. Right here on my shoulder. Wind down. Giant, giant brown. Stay here. Wind down one more time. All right, guys, I need so somebody over here. Wait, Rod, okay? Great. Neutral, Mark. Wind down again. Wind down again. Deck. Okay, raise him, Dag. Raise him, raise him, raise him. Higher, 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 higher. Big fish. Forward. Giant, giant, giant brown. Sean, I gotta come right through where you are. Just back up for me. Please. Stretch the line off for him here. Forward, there, yep, Mark. Yep, yep. Forward. Okay, that's good, right there. Coming right in with this fish. Just a freaking oh, enormous. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Here's a brown that's gonna go 16, 17 pounds. All right, let's get him up in the net right here. That's as good a brown as you're just about ever gonna take. Let's take a look at the, let's take a look at the spoon that he hit on. That. Black wiggle, talking about it in the clear water. Natural bait's gonna work good on a day like today where you've got uh, both conditions. Let's lay this right out here. Lay the rod right out with it. This is an enormous brown trout. Come on in here, bud. Look at the kipe on that guy. And here, here's the mark of a big brown. When we're looking at this fish in the water, you see this thickness right here from the top shot. And whenever a brown looks big in the water, you know, when you're looking down and he's knifing in the water, if he looks big, they're the one fish that you never get ground shrinkage with. You bring that fish in and it's always, it's almost always bigger than it looked when it was swimming. But look it's at this. Big. Look at this guy. Nice he fish. is a jumbie. What do you think about that, Dag? I think that made the trip. You know what? And then some. This afternoon when we get back to the dock, they may be calling you the champ. <laughs> 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 That's the way it is right now on the South Shore with the Safe Charter Fleet.